Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today, Russian news, are the Russians jamming US drones? Will World War III break out over Syria? Russian military has discovered how to jam US military drones from operating in Syria, according to US officials, following a suspected chemical attack in Doma. What does this mean for the US military? Will World War III break out of Syria? The U.S. Department of Defense has claimed the Russian military now have the capability to block signals to their drones working over Syria. Fears that World War III could be about to break in Syria have been escalating since an alleged chemical attack in eastern Gouda. Reports suggest that dozens were killed over the weekend due to a sustained attack. The U.S. military has been keeping an eye on the attacks through their drones, but have found some of their devices jammed. Jamming, or blocking, means that electronic signals sent to a drone's reception are disrupted, stopping all communication to and from the craft. Senator Ben Sasse said, Russia wants to undermine our interests at every turn. It is insane to think that Russia is anything but an adversary. Jamming drones over Syria will have a pretty significant impact on the UN's ability to survey the area. U.S. officials said the equipment being used to jam drone signals was developed by the Russian military and are very sophisticated, proving effective against some encrypted signals and anti-jamming receivers. The drones impacted so far are smaller surveillance aircraft, as opposed to the larger predators and reapers that often operate in combat environments and can be armed. Will World War III break out over Syria? A suspected chemical attack hit a small town in eastern Gouda, killing dozens and infecting nearly 500 victims some women and children with chemical attack symptoms on Saturday. U.S. President Donald Trump today issued a fierce warning to Russia and to Syrian President Bashir al-Assad through Twitter. In a tweet, Mr. Trump said, Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready Russia, because they will be coming, nice and new and smart. You shouldn't be partners with a gas-killing animal who kills his people and enjoys it. The United Nations failed to pass any measures to set up an inquiry into the alleged attack on Tuesday, a controversial decision. Both Russia and the U.S. blocked each other's proposals to set up independent investigations, despite both having the power to investigate. The US-drafted resolution would have allowed investigators to apportion blame for the suspected attack, while Russia's version would have left that to the Security Council. The UN session was the latest in a series of showdowns between Russia and the US and saw harsh words exchanged between the countries. Ambassador Nebenzia accused the US of planting a resolution as a justification for military action. We could find ourselves on the threshold of some very sad and serious events, he said. Alexander Zasipkin, Moscow's ambassador to Lebanon, repeated a warning by the head of the military that missiles would be shot down and their launch sites targeted if they threatened the lives of Russian personnel. While Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova asked whether the aim of Western strikes might be to quickly remove the traces of the provocation, so international inspectors will have nothing to look for in terms of evidence. Addressing new ambassadors in Moscow, President Vladimir Putin said he hoped common sense would prevail and the situation would stabilize. He added Russia would keep all its international obligations in full. U.S. envoy Nikki Haley responded by calling the vote a travesty. She said, Russia has trashed the credibility of the council. Whenever we propose anything meaningful on Syria, Russia vetoes it. Mr. Trump has cancelled his first official trip to Latin America so he can focus on Syria. That decision suggests the U.S. response may involve a larger military operation than a limited strike says the BBC's Barbara Plett Usher in Washington. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.